Hello and welcome, my name is Steve Woody and I'm going to be walking you through this tutorial of how to set up the free Cornerstone page templates that I've given you and what it is you need to do that. Now I have a blank installation of WordPress here which has the latest version of the X theme and a child theme installed into it and a couple of additional plugins. The plugins which we have is the Cornerstone plugin, the page builder from Themeco. We have a modal uh, element which we have developed and it is available from cornerstonelibrary.com. Uh, in the element section you can see the modal there, that is a gift to you and it is free. And the other plugin which we require for this is Gravity Forms. You can get this from gravityforms.com and it is just $39. So once we are in this position, we are ready to go. I also talk a little bit later about WooCommerce and how you can use that for the buy links on the sales page. But for now, this is what we need just to get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up a new window so that we can see the installation. And here it is, just a blank vanilla skeleton WordPress theme with X with nothing to it in terms of customization. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new page. And the first page we're going to add is the opt-in. So I'm going to call this opt-in. And the next thing I need to do is the template. So we need to choose no container. And we need to choose no header. But I do suggest we choose footer because you will need your terms and conditions, your privacy policy, and things like that. You can embed them into the page itself, but I just find it easier to use the footer. From here, we're gonna publish this page. Okay, so now this page has been published, we're gonna to go to Cornerstone. And you'll see that from the uh, download folder that you have, if you open it up, there is a few pages and a few links. The video links, which you should already have because you're watching this first video. Uh, the instructions, which we'll come to in a moment. And we can see we have the three templates themselves, opt-in, registration, and sales page. So we're gonna install them one at a time. The first one we're gonna do is go to templates. We're gonna upload a template and we can simply drag this across from here, the opt-in. We can let it go and add to layout. What this is gonna do is it's gonna take over the page and as you can see, it's gonna install exactly what it is I've got on my website, but for you. But we're not quite finished. What we now need to do is add some custom styles. So we're gonna click on the cog here, custom CSS, and then coming back to the folder, we're now gonna open up instructions. What you'll see is this is broken down, so we have CSS style for opt-in. We're gonna take all of the code from here, scroll down till we see the gap, and I left about five lines here so we can see that. I'm gonna copy this, everything above where it says CSS style for registration and I'm simply going to paste this into here and you can see instantly how it has changed the information that we have here. We can now go ahead and save this page. So we're almost ready, we're done on the page, almost. There's one more thing that we need to do. And for that I need to come back to the dashboard and we need to go into our gravity forms and create a new form. I'm gonna call this opt-in, I'm gonna create the form and what we're going to do is in advanced fields, we're gonna add name and we're going to add email. Now from here, there's some stuff we need to do, but first, I need you to add one line of code. Now this isn't complicated, don't worry. If you go to appearance and editor, I'm gonna open this in a new window. And from here, if you're in your child theme, and I recommend you're in your child theme for this, we're gonna click on theme functions. Now there is one line of code here which I've already added in this demonstration. It is in the instructions and it is at the very, very bottom. It says function for gravity form. It is that bottom line of code. I need you to copy that under additional functions, ensuring that there are no spaces, there are no additional lines afterwards. It is exactly as it appears. This is very important because if you do anything wrong on this page, you can break your website. So it's very, very important that you are extremely careful when you're editing this page. Once you have that one line as it is there, exactly as you see this, click update file. When we now come back to the forms, 
you may need to refresh the page and to do that I'd suggest you first update the form in fact I'm just going to do that now if we now click on name we can turn off the last name because we only want to click the first name here we can come across to appearance and we can use a placeholder so I'm going to say enter your first name and because of that line of function that we've just added what that allow us to do is it allow us the hidden for the visibility we want that for both the field label and also for the sub label it's important that we do that once we've done that for the name we can come down to email click on appearance again for a placeholder we can change the placeholder which I'll show you in a second what that does the field label visibility again is hidden and the field size is going to be large from here we can update this form so what we now need to do is just take a note of the ID number of this form so this is ID number two there's some additional things we can do to this form in a moment but for now we're going to come back to the page and underneath the button in the cornerstone editor it says modal I'm going to click on this modal and we can see here it says gravity form ID we're going to delete 15 and add 2 so we now have the short code for the gravity form installed and it's ID number 2 yours may be ID 1 I created one before I did this video this is why I've got ID 2 we're going to save this and then we're going to view our page and see what happens so now we can see we have our opt-in form and if we click on a button we have a nice styled opt-in page exactly how it is meant to be if you're not getting the same results and I suggest you just go back follow the video and ensure you've done step by step exactly what I've laid out and what we need to do now is one more thing within the form itself and this is within the form settings so everything is okay where it is for here for now what we need to do is click on where it says confirmations now at the moment the default confirmation is to um, put some text on the page once they input their information and you may be okay with that you may want to say check your email and that's absolutely fine you can do that you can also click on notifications you can add a new notification and from here we can select send to field select email the name we can choose uh, the from name the email name and, and subject and underneath here the message and we can input any whatever it is in our opt-in we can deliver that here that's just a way to do that what I'm going to do however is something slightly different because to me it's all about the customer journey I'm actually going to create a new page and I'm going to call this page thank you I'm going to make this a parent of the opt-in and again I'm going to use the same style template I'm going to publish this page I'm going to come back to the notifications that I have here click on the confirmations and I'm going to add new I'm going to click on page and it's going to ask me to select a page what I'm going to do here is select thank you and it's asked me now if I have any conditional logic well, I don't want to add any conditional logic here I'm happy with the way things are so I'm just going to save this confirmation and what I'm going to do now just give this confirmation a name so this is going to be redirect save this now you can if you want to turn off the default confirmation if you do not want this you could even just do it here so that you don't have to do this and save the confirmation here this way you don't have to do anything in terms of adding a new one if you don't want to you can delete this and we can just use a default confirmation as a redirect to page and that can go to thank you so you can either create a new one or you can use an existing one now if we come along to the opt-in just refresh this yes send me the infographic I'm going to type in my name I'm going to type in my email address I'm going to click submit and that is going to forward me to the thank you page so if I now come back to the gravity form itself I look at the entries I can now see that I have one entry so that's how you will set up your opt-in sequence you can see I've also just got the email to say that I have um, somebody has opted in
It's very nice when you start getting those emails. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the second part of this where we're going to install a registration page. So to install the registration page, I'm just going to close everything else down because we're done there now. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to call this registration. You can call this what you want. I use it for a webinar. We can use it for live events, anything like that. But what we're going to do is exactly the same as before. We're going to choose no container, no header and footer. Now the reason we have no container, as I've mentioned before, is because we don't want to distract people when they're on our page. If this is a landing page, we want them to do one specific thing and that's not use a menu or social media or anything else. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to publish this page. We're now going to open this in Cornerstone and we're going to do exactly what we did before. Click on templates. We're going to upload a template, choose the file from the desktop, templates, registration page. Open, add to layout, page. Simple. Now again, we need to do the same thing we did before. So we're going to click on the cog, custom CSS. We're going to come back out, choose our instructions. And from here, we can see that we have the CSS style for the registration page. Make sure you copy all of this to where it says sales page, paste this in, and now here we can see it has changed everything in here. So what we're going to do now is just close this, and we're going to save this. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We have a modal button here, which exactly the same thing with a gravity form. You will go ahead and create a new gravity form uh, you, you can do the forward, you can do everything you need to do as to where it's going to. And then that will obviously, the same thing when we save this. If I then come across to the page and I was to refresh the page, you can see that we have our header, we have our button, we have a video, we have some other text here. It is all here. Don't forget we need to do the same for the second button. So we come back down, click the Second button is also a modal, sorry, so it's the same modal, so you don't need to do anything, apologize there. Um, it's, it's launched in the same modal, so both buttons work together. So what we need to do here, just points to note, is if we click on the video, right now this only works with Vimeo, so all you would need to do is go across to Vimeo, grab yourself a video, and it could be any video that you want. I'm literally going to take the first one that shows up. And you will have a number at the top. You just copy that number from the top, come back here and just replace it with your number. That will then update the video within this box. We will work to get YouTube added to this in the near future, but for right now, it will only work with Vimeo. It's just the way that it's been styled right now. We will add YouTube to this and I will let you know as soon as that is done. But for now, it will work with Vimeo and eventually it will also work with YouTube. So make sure that in there goes into there like that. And what we'll do is from here, we're going to just save this page. We're going to come across to the page, refresh. And you can see that this now does work the way it's meant to work. You have the pop-up, which again, for where you want it to do, you'll be using a different gravity form, so where this will now row directly, thank you. Yours will obviously go to somewhere else. And what we can do is we can just look through the rest of the page. So we can click on all of the elements that you want. This image you can replace. These feature boxes are very simple. Some text here. There's the submission again. Again, custom headline and another image. So there is some custom style on the bottom here, just to make sure that this is flush against the bottom of the page and on the right. So you're more than welcome to go in and to edit and change this, but if you were just to tweak out the text, that would be enough to give you a page that works. So that's the second page. Let's go ahead now to the third page. We're just gonna close these down for now. And I'm going to create a new page. This one, we're just going to call the sales page. Again, default template, no container footer, publish. 
We know what we're doing now, so we're going to come to Cornerstone, edit with Cornerstone. First we're going to do is grab the template, upload the template, choose the file. We know this one's going to be the sales page template. We're going to install that. We're going to come across, grab the code. We're going to go to the instructions. We're going to grab all of the CSS for this section. There's not too much of it. Come across to the tab, custom CSS, add that, close this, just save the page. Now, again, we have a modal on this page, but this modal is literally just an iframe that has been carried in and it links to this icon. This is a play button so that we have a video. So you can go in and add any video that you want from Vimeo or from YouTube, anything that you want from the standard embed, and then that will play. So what will happen here is that you will click on play and you will have a video pop up. So that will play. What we also have here, this is a standard button. Now the reason I was talking to you before is because you may have links to something that you want to sell. What I tend to do here, whilst I'm using WooCommerce, is I will use question mark add hyphen to hyphen cart equals, and then I will use the ID number of whatever the product is that I want to sell. I then have direct to checkout installed, which is a free, you can get it from the WordPress repository. What that then does, is it bypasses, and when you click on that, it adds this to the cart and takes you straight to the checkout page. It is a very smooth process, and if you go to my website and you look at this, you'll see exactly what I mean, because it's exactly what I do. So we have that ability there. Underneath, we have a testimonial section, so we just use a feature box for this for now. Uh, all of the text which you can go, the columns themselves, uh, if you were to look at the column, they have some uh, fade enabled on them, on all of the images so that they fade in. And as you can see here, we have the different areas that we cover. You can take out or add these as you please. We have some feature boxes here. We have two more feature boxes for testimonials. We have uh, an embedded video, which this is really good as a uh, an instructional video if you want to embed again. So the top one can be from you. The second one can be more about the benefits and actually showcasing what it is that you're selling. Again, with the uh, Get Access Now, you may want to take them somewhere. This again is just an image, text, and a custom headline, very simple. We have an accordion here with some FAQs. And then finally, we have one final button before we have some terms and conditions at the bottom. So all very simple, easy to edit. You can see everything from within the sections. When you're on the layout of the page, everything is nicely labeled for you. And once you have this page, you can see all very nice. Everything folds in. Everything is here. And you have access to that information. So all three templates are there for you. I appreciate this has been quite a long video. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out and to ask me. The best place to contact me will be on the Facebook group X Theme Users. You can reach me on there, submit a question, and I will answer it as soon as I possibly can. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.